Sometimes I feel like I struggle to find what makes my channel unique. Um, sometimes I feel that just my own voice and my own thoughts alone don't separate me from all the other types of channels out there when it comes to just exercise, when it comes to just fitness in general. Um, of course, there's so many resources out there, but it's just very interesting to see that I'm still having like a, a growing audience that, um, you know, is willing to, to listen to what I have to say. And, you know, someone who watches this channel and watches similar content to this channel, you'll probably notice that like I'm pretty similar to, of course, just a bunch of other um, channels that have came before me. Um, you know, I'm definitely inspired by like Hannibal for King, um, which is like like the OG Calisthenics King. Um, I'm inspired by the channel uh, that's good money, where it's just like, you know, this guy who records just a bunch of like uh, calisthenics dudes working out in the park um, and like records challenges and stuff like that. Um, I'm definitely inspired by Ivan uh, or Ivan Jurek, I think that's how you pronounce it, who is the squad every day guy. And, you know, obviously like, you know, daily calisthenics. So obviously like I'm, <laughs> I'm basically a ripoff. Like, you know, that's that's like a no brainer. Um, and then K Bogues, I've been regularly compared to him because of just like the fact that we um, do calisthenics exercises and the way the filming setup is pretty similar, you know, a static camera and then just being in the frame and then doing the exercise. That's like the whole thing. And of course, um, just me talking over most of my videos is what's going to also be just very similar to their type of content because they do the same thing. I'd say like the main two in terms of the content creation, the main two things, the main two similar things would be Yvonne Jurek and K Bogues, right? Um, you know, very simplistic style of of filming, um, you know, just very simplistic way of making videos. I at the moment don't see any way that I can change things up to make the to make it either more engaging or to just make it different. Um, for the time being, I'm just kinda gonna stick with how things are right now and I don't see a problem with that but at the same time again it does get me thinking like you know what what makes me different from those two channels right um, what type of value do I provide um, that is different from you know that that's something that you can't get from their channels basically right um, KVOs is mostly like a bunch of information based when it comes to exercise and calisthenics and then Ivan Durek is kind of like you know recording it, it his, I'm very similar to his channel. I'm more similar to Yvonne um, than I would be K Bogues because of this, the, what I'm talking about right now, right? Like, you know, Yvonne will talk about, you know, whatever he's thinking of. And this is me talking about whatever I'm thinking of just over my videos in regards to just the way I exercise, right? Um, and again, it's like, you know, what is going to separate me? And like, again, I, I think maybe my thoughts and maybe what I have to say isn't necessarily enough, but... From what it seems so far, it seems like, you know, it's a, it's enough to do so. Um, you know, it seems like pe people are interested in what I have to say, at least the fact that my subscriber count is growing and I'm very thankful of the eyes that are on me. I also don't feel any like, quote unquote, shame or guilt or wrongness for being a copycat. You know, no one has called me a copycat or anything in my videos, but I'm kind of like proclaiming that. Because, you know, at the end of the day, I'm basically copying their video formatting. Um, and you can just call that inspiration. But at the same time, I'm at the infancy stage of, like, my whole content creation. Um, so maybe over time, I'll find ways to kind of switch things up to kind of make things a lot more different and a lot more, again, unique. Um, like, which is what I was kind of struggling with before. But I think also the fact that I'm already getting this into my head now, I might lead to better solutions even sooner um, in regards to this problem with me feeling like I'm not really standing out too much from other content creators out there, you know, especially other content creators that are out there that are way bigger than my, than my channel. Um, but again, it's like, you know, the fact that I come out here consistently every day, um, you know, I try to make sure each video gets up every day, even if it doesn't, I, it still gets uploaded at some point or another. Um, I hope that has more impact than what kind of content my channel is like. I hope that me showing you guys how I exercise 
uh, what I do when I exercise and what I think of my exercises or just what I think in the day to day. I hope that's kind of like the main sustenance of this channel rather than heavy editing or heavy visuals or a bunch of like crazy looking images and graphics on the screen and like, you know, just algorithm bait type stuff or whatever the case may be or like, you know, clickbaity type stuff. Um, I just hope that that is what the main sustenance for this, you know, for the, for the, for these types of videos. Um, and one thing too is like, in a way you don't have to watch the videos, you know, this, my videos aren't super visually engaging. So you can like start making your breakfast when you're watching my videos, you can be in the car and watch my videos. My father and my mother, they'll watch my videos, um, whilst they're in the car on the way to work or, you know, when they're out working, whatever. And, you know, it doesn't have to require so much, like, you know, eyeball attention. You just need to listen. And I just hope, again, like, you know, you guys out there that are listening, I hope that's the main sustenance for, you know, why you might want to come to my channel or why you might want to watch my channel in general. Um, and, and just seeing that, seeing that the, even, like, the people that comment, that there's people who comment very um, frequently, um, they are very, you know, just very generous, very nice. Um, there's definitely some commenters that I see that are trying to like even point out the way they train and trying to help me out on stuff like that, which is like amazing. Like, you know, the fact that people are just willing to like, you know what, let me give some advice or whatever. Um, or, you know, let me share my own experiences and whatever the case may be. Um, and, you know, putting themselves out there in a way, uh, you know, nobody asked for them to, but they were willing to do so. And I think that's like a great, uh, a great thing to have at the end of the day, I am just basically putting my foot in the door. And, you know, I'm sure that, uh, you know, once I keep going on, I keep doing this, I get better and brighter ideas, I'll be able to individualize the channel in a way that seems completely entirely different. Um, and, you know, just is in my own style. Uh, you know, because, again, like, like I said earlier, it's, uh, this channel's in its infancy. Um, I'm going to have just more and more ways to do things differently. And if you're starting out anything in general, especially anything creative, don't be afraid to like, quote unquote, be a copycat. That's just how things are going to turn out naturally. Um, you know, because for one, you haven't really developed your own style. You, have, you don't have enough skill and enough um, value built up yet in order to basically do things within your own model, right? You haven't created your own model. Example, so when you start off drawing, you're probably going to be drawing from tutorials on YouTube or something like that. And you're going to be drawing exactly like how those people in the tutorials are drawing. And then at some point, as you get better and better, you might mimic some styles of like your favorite artists here and there. But as you get better and better, you be able to develop your own style and your own way of drawing. And this could just be with any, again, anything creative such as writing, um, music, whatever the case may be. And I just know that I'm going through those first stages, you know, that I, I'm crawling, basically. I don't even think I'm crawling. I'm still rolling around on the floor like how a baby would. And then I'll be crawling at some point. And then I'll be walking. And then, shoot, I'll be running one day. Shoot, I'll be flying one day, you know? Um, but honestly, for this video, that's about all I have to really say. Um, I'm pretty gassed for, like, any ideas on what I have to say about being a copycat. I kind of said all, everything that I have to say. Um, you know, it's not that much to it. Uh, this video is a bit longer because it's like, um, well, I've noticed that actually my videos have gotten shorter since I split everything up to a push-pull legs and that my lower body day is um, a bit longer uh, because here I did like 105 Hindu squats and then I did 50 uh, lunges. So that's kind of like what led to the um, footage being a lot longer. And then I was also trying to make sure I controlled my form very well on the uh, squats. With the lunges, I have not done lunges in a while. I did the lunges going across my backyard. You are gonna see that soon. Um, and then for the last couple of reps, I did like reverse lunges. Like I was basically walking backwards, which is very good for your balance and coordination. It's very important for you to do single leg exercises. Um, I was doing, as you saw earlier, I was doing, or if you were looking, that is, I was doing, um, single leg RDOs with the sandbag. So it's very important to do like single leg work, um, or just like, you know, one leg at a time type of work, especially, uh, in regards to your balance. 
Um, your balance is and coordination is key, especially as you get older. You you don't want to stumble and fall over when you're 80 years old and then die, right? So any of my older uh, viewers listening that are like, you know, in their 40s, 50s, 60s, or even older, uh, make sure to do some like single leg exercises, even something as simple as just standing on one leg for like 30 seconds to a minute for like two to three sets, something just that simple. Um, even just even for my younger audience, um, members or the you know, people my age, really, uh, just you can just do the same thing to start off just to test your balance and see what your skill level is. And then just start off with something as simple as a lunge, um, just doing the lunges, right? Uh, and then possibly even so, again, something even simpler, single leg calf raises, um, and then like, you know, split squats, Bulgarian split squats. And then at some point you can maybe work up to pistol squats, especially when it comes to mobility. And again, older views can kind of take this as well. I've definitely seen like just on the internet, uh, like a lot of people who only started really getting serious about their training until they were like in their 40s or late 30s and they're like in incredible shape. They're in better shape than more 20 year olds, um, most 20 year olds actually. So again, you know, you just want to make sure you take care of yourself as soon as possible because it, it only it's only going to get easier and easier because when you're an adult, like in your 30s or whatever, you probably have so many responsibilities um, or, you know, just so much that you might have to do, especially if you have children, a full-time career, things like that. Uh, but when you're young and you're just, you're really just going to school and like maybe you're working like some job or on the side, you're going to have more than ample amount of time to dedicate time to your physical fitness. But again, I'm also not trying to give excuses to the old heads out there. You still got to get it in. You still got to work. It doesn't matter what you do. You can't just waste away like that. Um, especially if you have family, right? Especially if you have young kids, right? You want to be there for them as long as possible. And you even want to like, try to lead an example, right? Um, example, like seeing my father work out, that makes me more motivated to work out. Um, you know, when I was a little kid, seeing like my dad have, like flexing his arms and having these big arms, I'd be like, whoa, that's crazy. I want to be just like that, right? So um, it's very important that we take care of ourselves uh, because it's it's just naturally gonna rub off on other people, um, you know whether it be our own children if you we if you have any children, um, siblings, uh, relatives, friends especially friends, um, even just maybe random people on the street like if you're walking around and you're like buff, you're like you're like gigantic, uh, naturally of course, like you're gonna walk around with so much confidence people are gonna see that and you have like a tight fitted shirt on or something like that, like it's going to just, it's going to be like the best results ever. Right. And one thing too, this is just, just a little thing I want to mention on the side, just a little bit clothes. Right. I don't really care about clothes like that. And, you know, people will say like, you know, girls like guys who have like nice clothes, stuff like that. Most of the time when I'm out in public, I will wear like a black tight fitted t-shirt. Um, I'll wear some sweatpants and then some like shoes, whether that be like Nikes or even Converse is whatever the case may be. Most of the time when I've gotten approached by a woman in public, I was wearing a tight fitted black tee. All right. Because it's such a simple thing and it shows what you have. It shows what you, it's the same thing as girls wearing like these tight booty shorts. It shows what they have, right? Like who cares if they have like the most amazing eloquent outfit on. If you show like what you have built up and what you have given, gotten yourself over time, People are going to like that more. Now, I'm not saying you should train just for the validation of other people, but I'm just also giving you like, you know, you don't need to do so much in order to attract people besides looking good and looking good just means training and making sure you watch over your health and things like that. Uh, but that's all about, I have to say, um, you know, a little mini rant at the end, whatever. You know, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, again, don't be afraid to just copy other people, stuff like that. Um, over time, you are going to develop your own skills and your own style, and you will be able to separate yourself.